In Pathways to Brand Leadership Part 1, we cover a number of important issues that can set you up to attain brand leadership. For example, we cover topics like master the process of thinking ahead, master the process of seeing me on problems, and master the process of taking informed action. In the very first lesson, we went deep into the belly of master the process of thinking ahead. So I encourage you to go back to part one and really do a, that deep dive into the concepts that I have shared. Today, I want us to move a step forward. I want us to look at the process of seeing beyond problems. But I want you to look at this from a mastery standpoint because of course the aim is to really provide you with information that will really set you up to be a brand leader. Essential Care Pharmacy Providing more than your health care needs. Get the best in muscle building products, health supplement products, beauty care products, medical supplies, colognes and cosmetics, blood pressure testing kits, access our medical doctors, and so much more. Essential Care Pharmacy, your leading health care provider. I begin by saying this. Chess players and master chess players are two different things. You can play the game of chess and not really be a master. But what if you are to learn how to play the game of chess and to position yourself to be a master? Master chess players know the next five and ten moves that they have to play. And this is the level of mastery that you want to attain. Can you equate this with your efforts to position your brand as a leader in the market? Do you know the next five to ten move. The ability to see beyond problems is very much the same. So I will go deep into the belly of these concepts and really set you up for success as a brand leader. One of the first things that I want to put to you is that you need to be clear about your MVO. Now, what is the MVO? The MVO is your minimum viable offer or your most viable offer. The minimum viable offer means that you have a value proposition and the minimum viable offer is perhaps the lowest hanging fruit in which you're going to go to market with. The most viable offer is also a value proposition. But in this context, it perhaps is looking at going to market with a premium brand product. Now, regardless of if you're going to market with the lowest hanging fruit or a premium brand product, it's very important to take the time to be very clear in defining your MVO. Why is this so important? Because it is by identifying your value offer, you can now identify the ideal client. Again, in the last episode, as I said, in building a brand, it's not about you. It's not about your ego. It's about how much you understand about the ideal client and how you are able now to innovate products and services with clinical precision to impact the ideal client. It is the ability to impact the ideal client that's going to really set you up as a brand leader. But there are a number of steps that you want to take to impact the ideal client. Now, let us suppose that your MVO means that you are an executive coach or you manages a global pharmacy. What does these two things have in common in the context of brand leadership? Well, in the context of brand leadership, you as an executive coach or you as the leader of global pharmacy, you need to be known. And if you're not low, known, there's no reason for the public to like you or trust you. These are some barriers that you need to ensure that you're focusing on because it is this very act to know, like, and trust that is going to start to help you to get into the hearts and minds and souls of the ideal client. What does your chess move look like in terms of positioning your brand to be known, like, and trust? Trust. Are you the master chess player or are you the average chess player? Well, I'm going to give you some chess move here to really set you up for success. As you set yourself up to build the brand, what are some simple things or practical tools that you can apply to be known, liked, and trust. I want to propose two things. One, you can focus on building and creating your lead magnet. You can also look at developing your executive funnel in the case of executive coaching or your 
customer funnel in the context of global pharmacy. These two platforms can really set you up for success. What are the chess moves again that you're going to deploy in building these funnels? Step one, you need to ask yourself how you as an executive coach is going to position yourself for visibility or you as the leader of global pharmacy is going to position yourself for visibility. An executive coach need visibility. The leader of global pharmacy need visibility. Again, are you a master chess player when it comes to visibility or you are the average player when it comes to positioning your executive coaching practice for visibility? Now, I want us to go a little deep into this so as to ensure that you understand how to play the game of brand leadership, how to optimize your business and position the brand in the market as a market leader. Now, as we talk about visibility, there are four important platforms that you need to understand when positioning the brand to be visible, because visibility is going to be the springboard to set you up for brand leadership. So as you think about visibility, brand visibility, what must come into focus is media and media effectiveness. So in terms of media, you have what is known as mass media. What are the effectiveness of mass media as an aid to helping you to attain the know, like, and trust, the visibility to get into the hearts, minds, and souls of the ideal client? In mass media, you have radio, you have television, and you have press media. And it is important as a builder of brand, as a master chess player, to understand how mass media can influence the desired outcome that you want, which is to position the brand as a leader in the market. It is not enough to know that mass media exists in the context of radio, in the context of television, and in the context of press. It's important to go deep into the belly of these outlets, communication channel, and really ask yourself, is the medium that I'm going to select, it is relevant to my ideal client? Would it enable me to get the visibility that I need so it has to build the image of my brand? And it's a fair, very fair question because there are people that are gravitated to medium based on content production. And if you are ill aware of this, the possibility exists that you may be running the ads across mass media platform and never reach the ideal client because your chess move didn't allow you to think ahead and to see beyond some of these challenges and barriers that is going to prevent you from getting the visibility. So what I'm saying to you is that a master chess player, they have an insight, they have the data they're collecting sensitive data, they're analyzing sensitive data, and when they are placing ads into the media, they are using this data to do commercial placement. So because of the fact that they have data, they now are able to attain high reward, which is visibility, measurable results, predictable outcome, the predictable outcome is to make impact, to get the visibility. And they're able to achieve these things with the highest degree of accuracy. High reward, measurable results, predictable outcome with the highest degree of accuracy. Why? Because they have data. So data collection is one of the chess moves that you want to consider when you are attempting to position the business, attempting to position the brand to be visible in the market and to position that brand as a leader in the market. Millions of dollars can be invested in your visibility game plan and you fail. You fail because you don't have the right data <clears throat> on who is the ideal client. What are their psychographics? We'll talk about that some more and really how to leverage this body of knowledge to achieve a desired end result. I want to push a little further into the discussion. It's important to recognize that visibility is not necessarily 
reaching the ideal client. And this again is why data is so important. Whatever steps you're taking to use radio, television, newspaper, or to use social media, and there's a plethora of social media platform, you just don't use the social media platform because you can use it. You use any one of the communication channel because it makes sense and it is able now to help you to achieve the business objective. So as you position the brand for visibility, you are now thinking about mass media, social media, the metaverse, and independent communication channel. These are the four platforms that you really need to understand and pay very close attention to in any effort to position the brand as a leader in the market. Now, the possibility exists that you may be using these platforms because, yes, there are hundreds and thousands and millions of persons who are using social media, and their hope is to become social media influencers, but their efforts is not delivering desired results results. There's a reason for that, because you may be visible, but are you reaching the ideal client? How much do you know about the ideal client to be able to reach the ideal client with clinical precision? As a master chess player, you have this body of knowledge. This is why we have consultants in branding and marketing. Why? Because they understand some things about branding and marketing, about brand leadership that most people don't know. And they have this body of knowledge because it didn't start it yesterday. They were practicing this craft for over 10, 20, 30 years. And because they have this wealth of knowledge and information, they are now able to help you to make smarter business decision and investment decision when it comes to brand leadership. We're talking today about seeing beyond the problem. And seeing beyond the problems means that you are now have a blueprint, you now have a master plan, you now have a game plan that is going to take your executive coaching business and the global pharmacy and get it to the point where it's able to identify ways to exit the problem zone. We talk about the problem zone. If you're an unknown like and trust, your vision to achieve the business objective is going to be compromised. And we have clearly established the first step to be known like and trust is to understand how to deploy advertising content into mass media, into the metaverse, into social media, and into independent communication channel and how all of this now is going to lead to what we call the executive funnel and the customer funnel. So you'll use all of this as your lead magnet. Let's emphasize another point. Visibility is not reach. As you set yourself up to be visible, you want to be clinical in who you're reaching. And you need data to be able to make clinical investment decisions in this regard. It is when you're able to deploy these clinical techniques and strategies to reach the ideal client. It now allows you to achieve the highest degree of impact because you are taking the time to understand the ideal client and you are building out content that is going to appeal to the ideal client and really help you to make impact. You need to take the time to understand the medium that you're using and to be certain that you know enough about the communication channel in terms of its ability to help you to attain reach. Meaning that when you put the ad on a program, you know that you have X amount of persons that are looking at this program on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, on a minute by minute basis. You want to have this data. Today, as I keep emphasizing, a lot of traditional media don't have the matrix to tell you exactly exactly who is looking from where, all the data points that you need to make an informed and educated decision about how you're running your app. Social media, on the other hand, they have all of these data points that is helping you to make better decisions. I'll go into all of that at another program. There are practical steps that you can take to achieve clinical reach with the ideal client. And this in of itself is what's going to help you to attain impact with the ideal client because you're reaching them and you have taken the time to understand who is the ideal client based on psychographic data. And again, as you develop the advertising content, the commercial production, this in of itself must reflect the psychographic interest of the ideal client. So again, there are many moving parts 
to build in that brand and positioning that brand in the market has a leader. Your advertising content is not divorced from understanding the psychographics of the ideal client. It should not be divorced from that because the ad again is not being prepared for you, the business owner. It is being prepared to appeal to the interests of the ideal client. It is being designed to trigger arousal of interest, command attention to peak interest, to arouse desire and to move the ideal client into action. Now, if your advertising copywriter is not experienced in the whole process of deploying psychographic into the advertising production experience, that's a problem. That person will have to be exposed to strategies just like the draft master, just like the chess master. The ability to take all of these concepts into consideration is going to be very helpful in moving that brand forward to where it needs to be. Essential Care Pharmacy, providing more than your health care needs. Get the best in muscle building products, health supplement products, beauty care products, medical supplies, colognes and cosmetics, blood pressure testing kits, access our medical doctors, and so much more. Essential Care Pharmacy, your leading health care provider. So there's a many moving parts. So once you're able to achieve now impact with the ideal client because you have taken the psychographics and all the other factors into consideration, you're now coming one step closer to converting the ideal client into possibly lifetime consumers. All right. You can now convert the ideal client. As you think about all of this, there are strategies that is being deployed to help you to achieve this, to convert. You can become a, a master at the pull or push factors of sales. In some of my earlier program, I talk about what is the pull factors of sales. Influencers use a lot of this technique or use this techniques to influence the pull. And we talk a lot about how to effectively deploy this. You One becomes effective or social media influencers become effective in deploying the pull factors of sales because they have bio data on the ideal client. Not only because they have the know, like, and trust, but because they also have bio data. At another data, I'll go deeper into what is bio data. I want to also say that those that are practicing the push factors of sale, you need to invest much more time into the bio data. Because if you're able now to sell from the position of strength where you understand who you're selling to and why they're buying, it puts you in a better position of strength to negotiate a positive sale outcome. All of this lends to your ability now to convert. Do you have a blueprint for everything that I have said? Do you have a master plan for everything that I have said? Are you in that position of strength where you can see beyond all of these challenges as you position the brand as a leader in the market? You need to have a blueprint for each of these headings that I have talked about. I talk about visibility. I said visibility is not reach. I talk about impact. Do you have game plan to achieve visibility? Or do you have the, the game plan to ensure that you're reaching the ideal client with clinical precision? Do you have a game plan to ensure that you make an impact? Because you may be able to reach the ideal client, but if you your value offer doesn't align with their interests, you don't make impact, loss opportunity. And if you don't make impact, loss opportunity, you don't get to convert. And if you don't get to convert, you don't get to cash flow the business. So there's a step-by-step -step approach that you need to understand when you are going to market with your value offer to make impact, to convert, to cash flow optimize, and position the brand as a leader in the market. Important concepts that you want to consider. Are you the master chess player or are you the novice or the average chess player when it comes to starting and scaling your brand and positioning your brand as a leader in the market? You're going to fail because in most cases, you don't have this information and you don't have a master chess player on your side. These are important concepts for you to consider. Now, as we look at optimizing the business cash flow, there must be a game plan because this is one of the core reasons why you're getting into the business. 
cash flow optimization is part of the high rewards that you expect cash flow optimization is part of the measurable results that you want cash flow optimization is one of the predictable outcome that you set the business up in the first place but can you achieve this with the highest degree of accuracy perhaps when you have the right all right the right chess player on your side that can see five and ten moves ahead they can now set you up to attain the business objective i'm going to pause here for now as it relates to the visibility which an impact cash flow optimization you know i'm going to pause here for now on that because i've given you a lot of information that will help you to get past the problem zone now let me put this to you you know this is where we you you know we are think tanking and brainstorming you know a process and you want to be certain that you and your team you're think tanking the process you're brainstorming the process and you're developing the master plan to get you past the challenge you know we call we can say and we can say these are the practical steps that you can take but are you doing this we talk about understanding mass media we talk about understanding social media we talk about understanding the metaverse we talk about understanding independent communication channels so you have some information now and that's important you need to have the blueprint to do all of these things because a master chess player always have their blueprint so if you're becoming the master chess player of brand leadership you need to have your blueprint you need to have your blueprint that's going to get you up beyond the problem zones so one of the challenge that we have looked at today and the solutions how to see beyond the problems we look at you having an executive coaching business and you being the leader behind global pharmacists global pharmacy the problem is is that you're now starting your business and you need to break through the know like and trust and how do you break through the no like and trust? We talk about building your lead magnet. We talk about, you know, creating your executive coaching funnel. We talk about, you know, creating your customer uh, funnel. In the context of the executive coaching, you have your executive funnel. In the context of the pharmacy, you have a customer funnel. You need all of these things. But to get to the funnel, you need to create visibility. You need to be certain that you're going to reach the idea clients. You need to be certain that once you reach, you're making impact. Or once you make impact, you now stand a chance to convert users into spenders. And spenders is now going to set you up to cash flow optimize. So there's a sequence of things that we have looked at here. Each of these things, you need to have a blueprint to make them happen because as you position yourself to be a brand leader, they are not going to happen accidentally. There must be an intentional game plan behind this so either you need to ensure that you are the, the chess player that can develop these game plan or at least you have the brain power on your side you have the team dynamics at the strategic and tactical level that can help you develop these systems to really Im make impact with the ideal client but i want to look at a second problem why because i see many rising stars in business they struggle with this also you get into business you want to position the brand for as a leader in the market and you simply get into business and let us suppose that you cover step one you develop the visibility game plan that's going to allow you to reach the id client make him convert and cash flow optimize let's say you've got this down to the science what we also see is that many persons many rising stars in business you get stuck in the problem zone and of course today we are talking about mass the process of seeing beyond problems one of the problems that very much you become overwhelmed with is the problem of capital access we see many great ideas many great visions fail because you weren't able to get beyond the capital access challenge as an executive coach how do you navigate beyond this as the leader of a pharmacy how do you navigate beyond this what is your chess move are you making chess move as a novice as a beginner or are you making masterful mastery chess moves when it comes to capital and the issue of making chess move they are expert in this field that is going to get you past the capital access affairs 
And I want to emphasize this because you want to build the brand. You want to position the brand as a leader in the market. But if you don't have capital to do this, if you don't understand the cost of doing business, and if you are not able to raise the capital to position that brand as a leader in the market, the vision is going to be compromised. Any attempt to build a brand and position that brand in the market as a leader, you need to have this body of knowledge. All right. So let's talk about ways in which you can, you know, take practical steps to see beyond the problem. Now, there's concepts that we call capital market mix. Now, you may not be an expert in finance, and that's the reason that you're going to struggle to access capital. But again, you not knowing how to access capital doesn't mean that capital is not available. Doesn't mean that you have to struggle for five and 10 and 15 and 20 years to raise capital to move the vision forward. And I'm saying this because I'm very much aware of many companies in developing econ economies, middle income economies, and even developed economies that struggles to raise capital. You don't have to struggle. You don't have to struggle. So what I'm about to say to you, perhaps can set you up for success. There are multiple things that you can do to help you to see past the problem. One, you can invest in research and data collection because when you invest in research and data collection, it gives you the kind of information that you need to see beyond the problem, to make informed and highly educated decision, to make smart business decision. But are you investing in data? The master draftsman knows that he needs information he needs to become an expert at his field. So as you collect data, you start to recognize that in the financial world, you have debt financing, you have equity financing, you have credit financing, you have hard money lending, you have creative capital, you have all of these financial instruments that are available, but because you don't know it, because you don't have the data, you struggle to access capital. You need to collect the data and knowing the financial instruments that exist to help you move your executive coaching business forward or your pharmacist forward is what the type of information that you need. If you're not the expert in this field, you don't have the time to be the expert in this field. I'm trusting that when we look at your organization, you have these expertise on your executive chart because it is by having these team dynamics, these expertise on your board is what's going to help you now as you make efforts to build your brand, scale your brand, position it in the market as a leader. That's what's going to help you to be more successful. So as you collect data, you're not only collecting data in terms of the capital instruments, the financial instruments that exist. You want to see capital from four standpoints. The second is what are the pre-qualifications to access capital? Do you have this type of information? I keep emphasizing many rising stars with great ideas. You fail. Why? Because you don't have the right information. You have a good brand that definitely can stand up in the market as a leader, but that vision, that brand is going to be compromised because you don't have capital. But how do you see beyond this problem? Data. So you want to have data about financial instrument, data about you know pre-qualification to access the capital. And taking the time to understand this is important. It's not enough for you to just know that capital exists. There are different financial instruments. I'm not going to go into the financial you know, analysis today, but it's just to say to you that you don't have to struggle with when it comes to access to capital to position your brand in the market as a leader. The right information is going to set you up to access capital, to move the vision, the brand into the market and position it as a leader. You need to also put yourself in that position of strength to leverage capital the smart way. The last thing that you want is to raise capital and you leverage it in the smart way. I talked about some of this earlier. So you access capital, you want visibility, but your method of leveraging capital into visibility is all wrong. You are not assessing the medium of communication. You are not assessing the effectiveness of the medium in the context of saying the media is going to enable me to reach 10 million person across this spectrum. And because of the 
content design of the media is going to help me now to reach my ideal client. I am making clinical placement of ads to achieve impact with the ideal client. Very often, you are not trained to do these type of clinical analysis. Get capital, you produce your ads, and you place your ads into the media, and you don't get the results that you want because your approach to leverage advertising dollars is all badly leveraged. And I did said, the advertising process doesn't begin by placing the ad in the medium of exchange in the communication channel. The advertising experience begins with the advertising copywriter taking the time to understand who is the target market, what are their psychographics, and how to use this data to innovate the ad, the commercial. Now, one, once this is done, it's not the beginning and the end. Your next question you ask is, how can I place this well-crafted ad into mass media, into social media, into the metaverse and independent communication channel to achieve the desired end results. So there's a, a moving scale that you need to understand when it comes to leveraging capital in the right way. And if you don't know this, my, 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 you can lose a lot of money. That's going to cause you stress, sleepless nights. You may even get high blood pressure because you're not leveraging the capital in the right way. And when you do this, you don't achieve the advertising objective, which means you're not going to get a visibility that you, you want, which means you're not going to make the reach that you want, which means you're not going to create the impact that you want, which means because you're not creating impact, you can convert. And because you can't convert, you can't cash flow optimize. What does your chess move look like? You see all of these moving parts, a master chess player understand these moves. They are now able to position themselves as a leader when it comes to playing the game of chess. So it's either you commit the time, talent, and resources to learn everything that I'm saying here, or you ensure that you have an expert on your side that have this body of knowledge, and they're able to help you to implement and deploy and execute it in a manner that serves the best interests of the company. So we're talking about capital and seeing beyond the problem, because again, I see all of this, you access the capital, but it was invested in all the wrong way. You were stressed out, you're now saddled with debt, and you don't know how to navigate it. There are one more element of the debt factors, the capital factors that you need to understand, but it's not necessarily relevant to today's program. So I'm going to pass on that for today. And I'm going to say this, you know, I really trust that you enjoy today's program. Today, we look at part two of Pathways to Brand Leadership. And today's heading really looked at master the process of seeing me on problems. In the very first program, we talk about what is the pathway, pathways of brand leadership. We say three things you need to master. Master the process of thinking ahead. What are you thinking ahead about? Human, technical, and capital resource needs. You need to master the process of seeing beyond problems. Seeing beyond problems means that, that you're developing your master plans to achieve everything that you would have think ahead about. You need to have your blueprint. You need to have your master plan. You need to be like the master chess player here. The last lesson that we're going to look at on the pathway is to brand leadership, we will talk about master the process of informed action. And this lesson, you don't want to miss it because there's a major difference. There are major differences between taking action and taking informed action. All right. You can take action how much you want to take it but there's no action like inform action and we're going to tell you if you are not the subject matter expert to position yourself to take inform action to achieve everything that we have talked about here today how to appoint yourself how to align yourself with critical stakeholders that can help you to achieve that. I trust you would have enjoyed today's program, and I must say it gives me tremendous pleasure on Habits and Money to present these contents to you. I want to encourage you also to get copies of my book. You can go to this website, the Bestseller Portal, and when you get to the Bestseller Portal, you can go to Products. And when you click on products, you're going to see books. I have 11 volume of the book, Master the Sales Communication Process. It's an audio book, so I encourage you to get a copy of that book 
download and you can listen over and over so as to really enhance and refine your knowledge of some of the things that we have talked about um, today. My name is Gary Thompson and I must say it has been a tremendous pleasure being with you today and I look forward to sharing with you in the next podcast. Be blessed and see you soon. Essential Care Pharmacy, providing more than your health care needs. Get the best in muscle building products, health supplement products, beauty care products, medical supplies, colognes and cosmetics, blood pressure testing kits, access our medical doctors, and so much more. Essential Care Pharmacy, your leading health care provider.